All right, here we go. We're doing more cassette beasts. I'm doing it now before I lose the motivation to record because a new episode of an anime I'm watching came out today and I will waste all of the time if I don't stop myself and make myself actually do the thing I want to be m my job. So I'm doing it. Here we go. Playing the game right now. What do I want to do? Let me check my quest log. See, because at the end of the last episode where my microphone was muted, thanks past me, we unlocked Felix as a companion so we can do his quest here in a little while. Uh, of course, there's archangels to go fight, ranger captains to fight, monsters to collect, all that good stuff. And all I really have to do is find a way to get a good 20 minutes of enjoyment out of it before I take a break. That's it. That's the goal. That's all I need to do. Because that's a good length for an episode. I'm sure you'll agree. Any longer than that, it just starts to get exhausting to watch. I say, knowing dang well I have a 53-minute video that I'm preparing to release soon. Okay, we are going to Cherry Meadow, but not not for Felix's thing. Uh, I want to unlock more of the field abilities right now, and the next one is in the southwest corner of the map. And by next one, I really mean the last one for a while, because the last field ability has a really, really annoying unlock condition. Yeah, good, 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 good thing, Kaylee. Thanks for warning me. Yeah, monsters are stronger than I am. Oh, I'm so scared. Because this game is notoriously difficult, don't you? Oh, look out, player. The monsters here are stronger than us. Well, that just means they're worth more experience points. I don't remember if we already fought those guys. I don't think so, but I don't feel like fighting. There's a church there, which is going to be cool. Yeah, yeah, Kaylee, I get it. You're a scaredy cat who cannot be bothered to let me go where I want to go. Honestly. It's almost like she doesn't want to enable my bad habits or something. How inconsiderate. Uh, anyways, I'm going to try to increase the frequency at which I'm uploading this. Uh, one, because I wasn't uploading this anywhere near as much as I said I would, and two, because the DLC comes out in September. There's gonna be DLC- oh my gosh. Okay, so that might be a little bit more of a level difference than I was initially expecting. Oh, that's great. Do I have a smoke bomb? <laughs> no. Target. I don't remember it multi-targeting. Ow. But it's okay. It should be worth a crazy amount of experience points if I survive. And isn't that what's really important? You know, maybe getting Malcolm E involved or remastered, I believe it's called. Okay, Bulletino is almost ready to remaster finally. It'll be good. 
Okay, so change of plans because the level difference is way bigger than I thought. We're not gonna do anything there. Uh, ever. Don't worry, we'll go back in episode 23. God, if it actually takes that many videos to finish the game, that would actually be a little bit concerning. <sighs> I do enjoy this game a whole heck of a lot. I know my enthusiasm to upload it probably isn't the best indicator, but you have to understand, I have a personal file where I'm like level 160. I have played so much of this game. Okay, so I guess we just kind of need to be doing quests and stuff to level up because I'm just not strong enough to... Just not strong enough to do that. Uh, hang on. I know there's a ranger captain near here. We can finally do one of those fights because we haven't done any of those yet. Though I really want to fight some archangels too. Not only just because it advances the plot, but because you get a max stamina increase for each arch ar archangel you beat, and that's going to be really useful. Okay, here we go. I don't really want to be using an electric for this one. So. Hmm. Hey, Captain Wallace. He's a construction worker. <laughs> uh, that is to say, he likes to build walls. All right, then. Not my favorite unique mechanic. Of course, I'm good to just use fusion right away because I simply had the meter full, which is great because that that's just gonna totally unbalance this fight. Oh no, he's building walls. You know, I question the efficacy of a plastic wall, though. The sore metal had advantage of plastic. Yeah, whatever, we can try it. Yeah, it's, you know, these are like the gym leaders in Pokemon, except they don't make you wait forever to get at them. Like, you really can't do them as early or as late into the game as you want. They're not too picky. Though I will say I'm a couple levels over leveled with this one, so it's the easiest one. Hi! Oh yeah, I forgot. His, his special thing is just throwing the wall at you. Not the best strategy, since now I can just hit him, but... Oh, right, he makes another one. Okay, if he just throws a wall again, that is such a waste of HP, though. No reason to use a powerful move to break a wall. Alright, fusion power. Perfect. I mean, multi strike is cool to have. No, it doesn't swap. matter since he's already there. All right, and that's our first Ranger oh. stamp. Not to be confused nice with gym badges. This is a very copyright exclusive thing. It is not a gym badge. Do not confuse it with a gym badge. All right, that, that, that right there, that was the boss fight. Yeah, yes, I am well aware I can use my magnetism here, thank you. Oh, hey, look, person. Yes. There, there he is once again, the greatest evil in all of New We're All Real Estate Agents. I still do think it's kind of funny that just straight up, it's like they heavily imply that they're vampires in Eugene's introductory scene. 
And it's like, no, they're even worse. <laughs> I don't think you understand. They're gonna do the, the only thing worse than sucking our blood, literally. They're gonna scam us in a deal for a condo. Truly pure evil. It's like that episode of SpongeBob. Where, like, there's the whole Karate Island thing going on. Sandy's like, SpongeBob, he's tricking you. And SpongeBob is just like, no, uh he thinks I'm good at karate. And then Sandy's, like, thinking it's some kind of trick to oh. make him join the dojo forever, but it's just a real estate scheme. All right, and this is Meredith. She, she's another one of the NPC companions. <laughs> You know, Meredith is really judgmental. I'm Meredith. She's a very mean person. Yeah, I'm gonna find a way out because I'm <laughs> super cool. Yeah, you say that, but I'm the main character. You're not the main character. Yeah, get out of here. Hey, don't jump on my head. Rude. Aha, dog. This time, I will finally record a bumper cut. I will not be stopped. Am I even going to use it on the team? Almost certainly not. But it's kind of become a bit of a meme because of how many times I just failed to catch the thing. There, I got one. He's a dog, but it punches stuff. Alright, that's it. And now into the in, into the tape storage, probably forever. Oh, it's driving me nuts. How long this is taking? I'm trying to get Malachi remastered to his final form. You, did I lay you alive? Yes, I did. Prepare to die. You have the world record for time spent in the form of the monster spring heel. So what you're saying is you only have really weak monsters. Like bro, this is not the flex you think it is. Why do you even have two of them on your team? I mean, I know it that has two evolution lines, but like, come on, man. No! Okay, get out of here, Jack. Okay, echolocation is really pretty sweet. Fog could actually be really useful. Self destruct. Man, sprint is bad. Sure, why not? Bolotino gets to blow itself up when it dies. Alright, the real question is do I have an upgrade? Yes, I do. Alright, so now I can get Malcomy to five stars and then go back to to the uh, to the cafe and remaster both Malcomy and Bulletino at the same time. Now here's the thing, right? I used Artillerex, one of Bulletino's final huh? what the I didn't see this dialogue scene even in my main file. <laughs> Beginning to think Felix is just really fed up with the job market here. I can sympathize. Yeah? Uh. Yeah! You know, I'm beginning to think these guys aren't a fan of the labor market at oh. all. Ah, you know, you know, Felix, I feel you there. That is a slight setback, just a little bit. You know, so it's a little hard to make it as an artist when you suddenly get warped through space-time to an alternate dimension where nobody uses money. Hmm. It does happen to the best of us. All the time. You know, it happened to me three times last week. Such a common occurrence. Yeah. You know, hmm. Comment in the comment section below how many times you've been warped to an alternate dimension. I mean, I know my total is up to like 17 at this point, so like, surely you guys must have happened a lot. 
Oh yeah, Kaylee. You're doing more un unwarranted, unprompted self introspection about how to be a better person. Yes, 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 yes. Self care. You are more important than the people around you when it comes to your own mental health. Yet yeah, burnout is a thing. Yes, thank you. Truly very profound messaging that has never been stated in any form of modern media here. Huh? Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, right? It's a good message, but, like, it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny how it went from bury your feelings, bottle them up until you violently explode and hurt those around you, to suddenly, in, like, the last five years, everybody's like, hey, don't do that, please. Uh, just because the other guys are saying it doesn't mean it's good. No, 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 no. And it's like, okay, I get it. Yes, yes. I'm being serious about my mental health. Thank you for the reminder. You know what would be really great, really revolutionary? You know how, like, the Wii had those messages every once in a while? Like, hey, remember to take breaks? The same thing, but just, hey, remember to go drink water. Just randomly while you're playing games. I know that sounds really dumb, but that would actually be a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, speaking of which, I didn't refill my water bottle before I came back down here, so after I'm done recording, I have to go get a drink. Well, you see, Kaylee, that's what we call a toxic mindset to have about your hobbies, to think that your hobbies need to amount to something. So anyways, here I am on my hobbyist YouTube channel that I definitely think is only worthwhile if it makes money. I'm not ignoring this statement at all. No, it's not the right attitude to have at all. Dang, you know, Kaylee's uh, given a really good argument for why I should stop working right now. That sounds, uh, not, not romance novels per se, but dang, slaying in bed and reading sounds really good. Okay, end of the episode. Bye, guys. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> Level three, more stats for fusions. Here we go, Miasmodius. Really, really strong monster, offensively speaking. Defensively, it's just average, but Miasmodius is really strong. All right, like I was saying earlier about Bolotino before I got interrupted uh, by cutscenes. Bulletino's default final form, Artillerex, I used before. Uh, so I was thinking maybe I'd want to use its alternate final form, Giryu. But it's really hard to decide. I know where to get a sticker for Gear Shear to get Giryu this time, so it's not going to be an annoying thing like my first playthrough. Because on my solo playthrough, Giryu was legitimately the last monster in the entire bestiary that I actually got. But, uh, yeah... Why was that? Hang on. How long have I been recording for? Okay, yeah, we could probably go a little longer. Uh, but yeah, I already used Artillerex. I kind of want to try out Kiryu this playthrough, but I'm not too concerned about it either way because both of them are good. Really depends on if I want a metal type or a fire type, and either way, Kiryu learns fire attacks. Anyways, we're going over here just while I'm on the subject because I do remember where to get the gear shear sticker this time, unlike the last time I played. Uh, so first, we're just gonna lower the water down. Remember to bully the cultists. Bully a local cultist today. Make fun of them for their silly belief systems. Remember, because the core of empathy is ignoring what everybody cares about and calling them dumb and stupid. Oh, okay, but like, actually, like, the odds of somebody in my audience being like a Scientologist, I would say is probably perfectly squarely zero. 
So I feel very comfortable saying Scientology is a cult, and if you're a Scientologist, you're an idiot. All right, now that I've said that, and like I have alienated approximately zero people, I, I still think it's really funny the way that the Morton children really are like, yeah, our boss ha has said that like us with our theming around like the Morning Star, we're going to go make a deal with the Serpent God and it'll be so perfect and great. And I'm like, hey, did all of y'all come from an alternate dimension where Christianity isn't a thing? Because like the amount of Lucifer imagery going on here is so huge. It's like, this isn't just a red flag. This is like, a, I, I don't even have a good comparison. I don't even have a, a good thing I can say here uh, by comparison to a red flag. I guess what I'm saying is it's just a really big red flag. Excuse me, guys. We were, we, we were kind of in the middle of something here. We're, try, we're trying to do a puzzle. We got in the way, and it's really inconvenient. I'd really appreciate it if you just died. There. Okay, now I'm trying to remember how the heck I did this puzzle before. Uh, okay, you can, you can fight me if you really want to. I, just like the last guy, I'm not gonna recommend it, but pop off, I guess. There's an unnecessary grid. Okay. Oh, hey, dive, dive Berg leveled up. Cool. Okay, now then. I cannot for the life of me remember how this puzzle works. Right, okay, I remember now. Now drop the thing. Kaylee, please, you're really not helping me. Oh, right, now I remember it's... Oh, damn. Yeah. No! Curses, basic physics manipulation, my only weakness. Don't even. No, go away, I'm doing a puzzle. Okay, because I'm just trying to line all the pieces up so then in one button press, I fully finish the puzzle. Kind of like that, but not. There we go, I did the thing. No. Aha, I got the box. No! Well, whatever. I got, I, I still got the box, so I still win. cultists I'll, I'll bully you later I, I know you really looked forward to it freaking weirdo no no ambush spawns I go in the cave this isn't the cave I I think this is the cave hang on hey yo that something flew at me real oh it's the bullets again Hold the lever. Okay, I think this is it. 
Yeah, I got the gear shear. Okay. If you're wondering why we needed the gear shear sticker, it's because Velocir Rifle, the Latino has evolved for, uh, becomes Gear Ryu as its final form only if it has the gear shear sticker equipped when you remaster it. And I need to get out of this cave. Well, this is awkward. You know, it's funny how I kind of wanted to use Salamagus in my first playthrough because it's blue and a lizard and that's cool, but I couldn't find one, but it was just here the whole time. Funny how that works, huh? How a lot of the time the, the monsters you really want. It's kind of like playing Pokemon, how I swear it always feels like the Pokemon I want the most are really easy to get, but I just never bothered to check the one patch of grass that they spawn in. No. Eh, whatever. We'll, we'll get him later. I'm not gonna sit here for ages trying to catch a Terra Cooka. I think that's probably going to do it for this episode of Cassette Beasts, though, so the video doesn't get so crazy long that I have to scrap half of the footage to keep it at a reasonable length. So, with all that said, cue the outro.